this mm. is called some sawdust. After using the toilet, you cover. Okay. You cover like this. When the toilet reaches like three quarters, we get it. Then we take it to the compost pile. Mm. Welcome to Uganda. When you hear the word ghetto, what comes to your mind? <laughs> a marginalized group, a slum, individuals engaged in deviancy, smoking weed, etc. But today, let me blow your mind again. I visited a place in Uganda, Kampala to be precise, and surprisingly, they called themselves the ghetto research. Group of individuals who are seen by the society as deviant, they collected themselves and what are they doing? Practicing waste management in different forms and different kinds, converting. <laughs> Stay tuned and I will show you what they are doing. <laughs> Welcome to Nice Friday episode on the basic platform, and this is your girl. Betty Osei Bonsu, where passion, values, and environment comes to life. Today on this episode, we're talking about the Ghetto Research Lab. Waste, they say it's not waste until wasted. Mm, this has said it. <laughs> waste, when used and wasted off, might seem to many as wasteful, but it's time we have to reconsider our waste management and zoom into that future where we do not create waste any longer but we create resources and that is what the research ghetto is doing in Kampala <laughs> when you visit Uganda as a foreigner all things look good at the airport the road leading into the streets clean green vegetations which gives you the impression that the country has no issues when it comes to waste management. But let me blow your mind for the third time. Moving from the airport into the township and getting into the facility of the reset ghetto, I was astonished, bombolized, and every other amazement, if there is a word like that. People were living in situations that I don't know if those situations are even possible. Imagine with me if there is any situation like that in human history. In Kampala, a particular city known as Kowokia, if only I'm pronouncing it well, is referred to as the most dangerous city in that country but what actually blew my mind was the waste within the community that people are living like nothing is even happening according to city alliance improper disposal of garbage is one of the major causes of flooding in that area and this particular flooding usually as has been recorded has the tendencies of sparring disease outbreaks destructions of infrastructures and facility vegetation crops etc and you find them going from 100 to 0 50 to 0 and 0 to 0 their gutters okay are very very choked in fact their gutters have become lands the, the waste has heaped in the gutters like this very bad drainage systems in that community anything that steps in the way of the garbage the garbage conquers it <laughs> surprisingly even to the extent that the garbage can build a house i'm not laughing okay this particular waste management from consuming the city a group of people led by one very man stood up they stood up and said they are taking things into their hands. They are going to create a ghetto research lab. And this particular lab is, was designed to address that very person issue that's affecting their city, which is waste management. Business visit to the lab, we got to identify a lot of things 
how they were able to utilize their own toilet facility, their own created toilet facility. And the pool that comes from it is converted to fertilizers for crop production. And they had several displays in their facility. It was, it's just an eyesore to see. You, 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 would, you would never think of this particular thing to be possible, but that was actually done. Taking us through this particular guide was their leader in the person of Patrick Mujagzi. Patrick is the founder of the Ghetto Research Lab, doing amazing stuff. Let us hear from his colleague as he takes us through what the Ghetto Research Lab does. Just compost today. Okay. So we have a number of people who always come here. Mm -hmm. See all the people sitting there. Mm -hmm. That is our toilet. Mm -hmm. Let me see the number. Pick it down. This is so dust. This is mm. so dust. After using the toilet, you cover. Okay. You cover like this. When the toilet reaches like a three quarters, we get it. Then we take it to the compost pile. Mm. So, this is our compost pile. Okay. So, our main issue is to make the fertilizers. As you can see, this one. So now it is coming rock soil after like a five months it will be humus and it will be ready to be used in gardens and you can sell it to people. What are the what are some of the challenges you are facing with this type of method? Um, when it is swampy, mm -hmm. it's very hard for you to make the pile of Mm. You understand like here when it rain is you can see. Mm. So we need a place, a better place mm -hmm. where we can put the pyrus. Other things are common in the community, like a food scraps. I'm talking about the banana pills, the cassava pills. Mm -hmm. They are very common, we can get them. Mm -hmm. Even we can lack setups because when you are setting up the credits, we need the buckets. We need the buildings where someone can go mm -hmm. and ease herself or himself mm -hmm. when someone cannot see him or her. Mm. Yeah. Okay, but doesn't it smell? It doesn't smell. Okay, because of the hair you put on it. Yes, because of the hair, because you can't find there any dry, any maggot, no bad smell. Okay. Yeah. How long have you been doing it? Almost four years. Four years? Yes. And you have pilot. Uh, Experimental stuff you've done with it? Of course. Uh, ah. have, I'm, I'm the head of the department. Okay. Yes, the compost. So, you, uh, do you train the people around or something? Almost train. Last year we trained almost 300. Mm -hmm. And they have people who are practicing it. Okay. Yeah, around our community here. Mm. And they have big piles around the other side. You can go there, side. there are some compost types. You can go there. So, in this area, mm -hmm. we use compost toilets. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, this is what, one of our projects. So, we have a, so many other projects that we're going mm. to see. Others, the team leader will explain more because I know better which I work for, but I can mention like the aquaponics, plastic papers, the bottle bricks, the plastic bricks, yeah, the garden, mm -hmm. uh, variation. So many. So our, some of our department heads and uh, meeting. So that's it. We're going to have some meetings. Okay. 
speaking to us, he mentioned yes, course, the problem of unemployment within this particular area where most of the youth decide to go to them because they do not have any sources of livelihood to go into. But that's not an excuse for anybody. I've always been saying this, that indigenous solutions are possible. And that is the example that Patrick and his team are embarking on in their community. What fascinated me most was how they are able to grow their own crops using their own poo, especially when he picked it up with his hands. In my mind, I was like, mm, please don't touch me. <laughs> but that was innovation at its core. Guys, we have the solution within us. Let us stop sitting down and folding our hands and saying the government have to do something. We have to start something. Indigenous solution is possible. This is another inspiring episode on the Visa platform with your girl Betty Osei Bonsu. Next on our episode, we'll be looking at the Research Ghetto Part 2. Yes, this time they are not only doing composting with their <clears throat> bag, they are doing plastic recycling where they are even building households using bottles. You want to stay for the next episode. Don't forget to subscribe to all our social media channels on LinkedIn. It's been inspired with stories from Africa. On YouTube, it's been inspired with stories from Africa. On Facebook, it's Pisa with Betty. Stay tuned and have a nice day. <laughs> Africa, gone is tomorrow. Today is here. Achievement to be accomplished. Nothing to fear. The twice is told. Take up your right to position in the world of years, Africa. Get up and hit the wall.